In this video, we'll look at setting up your brand colors and fonts. If you're an admin, you're going to be able to create a set of design basics that will apply to all of the pages in your account. Your pages will reflect your company's brand no matter who created them. To get started, let's head to the settings menu. Then we're going to go to set up brand. We're going to start with colors. Here you can see my current brand colors. Quiller starts you off with two default colors, and then I'm going to change this by clicking on this color, and then I'm going to choose a color from the menu, or I can paste in an HTML hex code. My company's brand has more than two colors though, and that's no problem. I can add more by clicking on this blank circle. Then I can either choose a new color from the menu, or I can add in a hex code. And if I need to remove a color at any time, I can click it, and then use the trash can icon to delete it. This also removes that color from all of the pages in my account. Next, I'll add the fonts for my brand. I can set fonts for the H1 main headings, the H2 subheadings, and the body text. They can all be different fonts, or if I wanted to use just one font for everything, I can set up the H1 font, and then I'll enable the switch. To change a font, I'm going to click on the Change button, and then I'm going to choose a font from the Google Fonts library. I can search for a particular font here, or use the filters to help narrow down my choices. And if you're not sure what fonts to use for your branding, try looking through our suggested pairings. Choose one, and it's going to automatically set those fonts in your account. I'm going to choose a couple of Google Fonts here. And now that I've made my brand changes, I'm going to click to save them. Back to the settings, though, you're going to have some additional choices if you're on our business or enterprise plan. For our business plan, you can use an Adobe font in your brand. To do that, you're going to head to the Adobe area, and then you can paste in your ID here. Then you'll go ahead and select your newly added font. And if you're on our enterprise plan, in addition to Google and Adobe fonts, you can also upload a custom font using a TTF file. And here's another thing that you can do on the enterprise plan. Now that my branding is all set up, I can set some styling permissions for my team members who aren't admins. It's a great way to help a larger team keep their pages looking consistent. I can decide whether my team should be able to change things like colors, alignments, or block layouts. And as I set these permissions, I can preview the styling options that my team is going to see on their pages. Now the admins on my team are still going to have access to all of the style options. And that's all there is to brand setup. If you have any more questions about how to set up your brand or anything else, please email us at help at or use the help button in your account.